You may feel you're too overweight or too thin. You may think you've gotten too much sun or too little vitamin D. But have you looked at your hands lately? These appendages are more surefire indicators of your overall health than any other part of your body. From the grooves on your fingertips to the wrinkles on your palms, your internal well-being could be reflected on the external features of your hands. You may wear your heart on your sleeve, but your medical history, your personality, and even your future could be written on the indentations of your 10 fingers. That's why The Hub is giving you these 10 incredible things your hands can tell about you. And while we're at it, use your fingers to click on the subscribe button to keep up with all The Hub's latest news at hand. Fingernails Some people like to bite them short as a helper for stressful situations. Others prefer long colored talons decorated with a variety of funky colors. But observing your fingernails in their natural state is helpful in keeping tabs on your health. They can show you whether you lack minerals or vitamins, have thyroid or anemic issues, and have any problems related to the liver. Any unexpected grooves, any brittleness, or weird spots are reason you should get checked by a doctor. The color of your nails can indicate your blood oxygen level. Fingernails are made of the same base chemicals as hairs, so if you want to think of it this way, you can consider nails to be hardened finger hairs. It takes a full six months for a fingernail to grow from the base of the nail bed to the tip of your finger. Many physical deficiencies found in your fingernails could be fixed by adding more zinc to your diet. Foods high in zinc are oysters, nuts, chicken, some edible fungi, and dark chocolate. Additionally, dark streaks or coloring in your nails could be indicators of a deeper problem and it would probably be helpful to see a doctor. Shaky fingers. If you have shaky hands, it could be a sign of a deeper problem but usually you might just have too much caffeine or sugar in your system. If you have over 300 milligrams of caffeine in you and you're not a heavy coffee drinker, you'll probably start seeing some trembling in your smaller extremities. If you haven't had any caffeine whatsoever and your fingers are shaking over nerves, whether it's because of a presentation you have to make or a difficult conversation on your horizon, you're probably shaking because of the adrenaline your body's released in response to even a simple stressor. In most cases, if you try to calm yourself down by saying there's nothing to worry about, it only increases your focus on the anxiety and likely will keep your hands shaking. So the best thing to focus on is the work on your plate rather than the shaking in your hands. Simple breathing techniques help as well, like taking a long, slow inhalation of air into your stomach for a count of four seconds, holding that breath for four seconds and exhaling for four seconds. Repeating this at a steady tempo for even a couple of minutes should help steady your nerves and cause your shaky fingers to smooth over. We are very excited to announce the Premium Network. The Premium gets you early access to videos from The Richest, Screen Rant, The Taco, The Sportster, The Things, and many other great channels. Literally thousands of videos in one place with ad-free browsing. Check out The Premium by clicking this link. Sign up for free and start binge-watching videos from your favorite channels. Finger Length and Personality Place your hand on a flat surface and look at the outline of your fingers. The length of your ring finger versus your index finger could say a lot about your personality. If your ring finger is longer than your pointer finger, you may be a gigantic flirt. With your confidence, you may be more likely to take risks and your willingness to put yourself out on the line allows you to reap greater rewards. With this in mind, you may have a lucrative future in sales or entrepreneurship if you're not in those fields already. Say your index finger is longer than your ring finger. If that's the case, then you know how to take lemons and make lemonade, being a talented leader who's able to find creative solutions to complex problems. It makes sense that, symbolically, your pointer finger is longer than the finger linked to romance and commitment. As someone who's likely to be a boss or an elected official, you're better at barking orders than taking them. Finally, if your ring finger and index finger are the same length, you're probably a well-balanced individual with the ability to communicate both sides of an argument before deciding the path forward. A born mediator, you'd make a perfect therapist. Finger Length and Relationships Beyond your own personality, the lengths of your fingers are said to determine how well you interact with others, at least according to the Daily Mail's hand expert, Lori Reed. Those with long fingers determined by whether a finger is at least three quarters of the length of your palm are thought to be more considerate, tolerant, and painstakingly detail-oriented. Shorter-fingered people are said to be the opposite. If you and your significant other are both long-fingered, you shouldn't have any issues making a new home together. If one of you has long fingers and the other has shorter fingers, you may have trouble seeing eye to eye organizationally and statistically. If you both have shorter fingers, you may be prone to butting heads, but as long as you agree to embrace your differences and more off the cuff personalities, you should be fine. Now having shorter fingers doesn't necessarily mean you're disorganized, it just means you're far too preoccupied with the big picture, like organizing a birthday party or planning for a big meeting than spending time obsessing over the smaller details. 
regardless of the size of your fingers, as long as you're an attentive partner, you should have no trouble keeping your relationship healthy. Finger Tips Just as individual finger length is believed to determine key personality traits, individual finger tips are thought to be indicators as well. The shape of a person's thumb can show just how motivated they are. The same goes for leadership ability driven by your index finger, self-preservation and mental instincts driven by your middle finger, outside-the-box thinking driven by your ring finger, and speaking habits driven by your pinky. If your fingers are unbent, unscarred, and point forward straight as a rod, then your digits are strong as can be. Any weakness or inadequacies in any finger, and it's believed your corresponding personality may be lacking as well. But reading the shape of each fingertip is more complicated than that. If the outline of your digits are rounded, you tend to prefer unity and agreement over confrontations. If the edge of your fingers, around your nail beds, are square-shaped, you probably prefer detailed plans over general outlines. If you have broad fingertips, shaped like a spatula, you're a more off-the-wall thinker who prefers to break free of strict schedules. And if your fingers end in a more pointed shape, you might have a proclivity towards new agey and holistic thinking. Fingerprints Just as no two prints are alike, no two personalities are the same. Used by police to track down criminals, the swirls and grooves on your fingers can also be used to help track down the type of person we may be. The tented arc pattern, in which lines radiate outward from a central triangle, show that, like an equilateral triangle, the person with these prints take an even-sided approach to any issue. The ulnar loop pattern occurs when an inner loop forms at the center and lines surround it in a circular pattern. Like a tiny pebble dropped in a pond, the ripples on their fingers reflect peaceful and calm individuals. Those with the radial loop have a similar formation to the ulnar loopers, but these guys have grooves radiating in the opposite direction toward the thumb. Radial loopers are believed to be thoughtful and proactive doers. Concentric whirl fingers with tight spirals on their fingertips tend to belong to daydreamers and big thinkers. Those with press whirls have ovular spirals that indicate type A personalities. Lastly, imploding whorls are asymmetrical spirals that tend to belong to multitaskers with the ability to balance many responsibilities. Do your prints match your personality? Hand veins. Although your lives are better reflected in your palms, the other sides of your hands can also share some useful info. Some people have faint veins below their knuckles, while others have bulging features that stand out for a variety of reasons. If you truly want to know yourself like the back of your hand, then you should take a closer look. Usually, the veins pop out during times of increased physical activity, when the blood is flowing quickly through your arteries. At this time, the plasma in your blood gravitates towards your muscles, and this reaction causes the veins in the skin surface to pop out. Otherwise, your skin's elasticity may have diminished thanks to old age. As your skin grows looser, the veins in your body gain a more prominent appearance. They haven't changed, it's the skin around them that's shifted. Whether it's old age or physical mobility, the doctors can treat the cosmetic appearance of some unsightly veins if absolutely necessary. There's even a treatment in which doctors will cause some thinner veins to collapse so they don't bulge on the outsides of your body. Blood will then be rerouted to deeper veins that don't show up on your skin. Otherwise, if you lead a healthy lifestyle, you should have nothing to worry about. Palm reading Palm reading isn't much of a science, but many people follow it as a way of predicting future relationships, future problems, and future solutions. Perhaps using this mystical practice as a means to look for solutions to your problem is a good way for people to address what's going on in their minds. We're not judging, we're just saying if you've exhausted every other option and want some guidance, maybe it's worth giving this a shot. On your palms, there are three prominent lines, the lifeline closest to your palm, the headline in the middle, and the heart line just below your fingers. Short headlines means you're a decisive personality. Long headlines mean you're indecisive. And wavy headlines means you can see both sides of a single argument. With heartlines, a long one signifies compassion and empathy. A short one shows a need for independence. A split line shows one who's put others' desires above their own. And a line with a cross shows deep heartbreak in your personal history. As for lifelines, a long lifeline shows dependability. Short lines show determination against all odds. Faint lines show susceptibility to stress, and broken lines indicate harsh past experiences that drive future decisions. Hand shape. While the lines on your palms are thought to tell the text of your life story, the size of your palms are like the book jacket, illustrating what your life is about and summarizing the contents of your experiences. If your palms are large and your fingers are less than three quarters of the palm's length, you might be a fire type. With a fiery disposition, you have a stubbornness and headstrong will that takes you to the top of situations. 
serving as a decisive leader with a quick wit. With a square palm and short fingers, you'd be seen as an earth type. Even tempered and accepting, you probably find solace in working with your hands and using your fingers as tools in some form of artistic expression. If you have a square shaped palm with fingers of the same length, you're considered an air type with a high level brain power and an ability to conjure up and explain deep ideas. With a narrow palm and long spindly fingers, you could be a water type personality with a lyrical and accepting demeanor. But ultimately, you don't need your palms to be a certain shape in order to be a decent person. Space between fingers. Lastly, another way to look at your hands is to peer at the negative space around your fingers, specifically the space between your digits. Lay your hands still and look how your fingers sit at rest. When fully relaxed, if your fingers are still spread apart, you might be someone who's self-sufficient, either in business or in the arts. Then check out the space between your pinky finger and your ring finger. With a bigger gap, you might be non-committal or at least averse to having serious conversations. If these two fingers are close together, you might be a brave risk taker or an adventure seeking traveler. With a ring and middle finger that's near touching, you might be a person who tends to do what they're told. You may be stubborn or independent if these two fingers are naturally far apart. Or you may be a Vulcan. This signature hand gesture from Star Trek is used as a salutation, wishing others to live long and prosper. Vulcans are usually presented as a logical and thoughtful race, basically the opposite of headstrong and pig-headed. However, it's important to note that regardless of the shape, size, and texture of your hands, you can ultimately decide to be your own person and make your own future. We here at The Hub aren't psychics, but the more in tune we are with our physical selves, the stronger mental health we can expect to maintain. Keep healthy, stay safe, and thanks for joining The Hub as we feel our way through these 10 incredible things your hands can tell about you. We'll see you again soon.